Named just a year after Megalosaurus in 1825, Iguanodon has remained one of the most iconic dinosaurs ever since. Discovered in another part of southeast England, its fossilized teeth were soon recognized as similar to those of modern iguanas, but far larger. Partial skeletal remains were initially reconstructed as belonging to a massive herbivorous lizard, with what was believed to be a horn on its nose. The Victorian Crystal Palace Iguanodon was depicted as a bulky reptile with a nose horn, a toothless beak at the front of its jaws, scaly skin, thick upright legs, and hoof-like claws. Like the Megalosaurus of the time, this reconstruction is often criticized, but it was actually fairly advanced for its time, offering a naturalistic and almost mammal-like portrayal compared to later interpretations. Technically, the Iguanodon species represented at Crystal Palace is now known as Mantellisaurus atherfieldensis, but it was considered Iguanodon back then, so it is still included in this context. A major discovery of nearly 40 Iguanodon skeletons in a coal mine in Bernissart, Belgium, provided the first full look at the anatomy of these dinosaurs. These larger Iguanodon Bernissartensis specimens became the type species for the genus, helping scientists to classify other similar fossils as Iguanodon. These fossils were restored as bipedal creatures with a kangaroo-like posture, using their tails as a tripod for support. The nose horn was correctly reinterpreted as a thumb spike, likely used as a defense mechanism. This image of Iguanodon persisted for decades, with some depictions even giving it a giraffe-like prehensile tongue, including an odd portrayal with the tongue sticking out of a hole in the jaw. During the late 20th century dinosaur renaissance, Iguanodon's posture was corrected to a more horizontal stance, showing that it could move both on two legs and four. Juveniles primarily walked on their hind limbs, while adults used all fours but could still run on two legs when necessary. Fossils of Iguanodon have since been found throughout Europe, dating back to the early Cretaceous period, around 126 to 122 million years ago. The modern understanding of Iguanodon portrays it as a robust ornithopod, around 9 meters long, with a horse-like head, a large beak at the front of its jaws, and chewing teeth further back. It had cheeks to help keep food in its mouth and a sturdy body. Its forelimbs featured a prominent thumb spike, hoof-like claws, and a grasping pinky finger, while its strong hind limbs ended in three-toed, bird-like feet. Evidence from related hadrosaurs suggests that Iguanodon had a thick, muscular body, including a strong neck and tail, and may have had a decorative frill along its back. Skin impressions show a covering of small pebbly scales, likely too fine to be noticeable from a distance.